morning. This is the first of a series of vlogs I'm going to do that are video vlogs. I'm in such wet weather so for now you just have to see life under the tarp on what it's like on a rainy day. This is the view that I can see out of the forest through the clear plastic tarp that I've got. And this is the view from lying down on my bed. Looking up at the sky, there's the top of the tree. This is where I normally see a view stretching out across the sticks in Payana Valley. I can usually see gullies and tree-lined ridges, even quite a few clear bells. But today, it's covered in mist, so it kind of feels like my tree is just floating in a cloud of white. And you can see now, down in the gully there, shadows of trees starting to appear as the mist starts to rise up. It's quite beautiful in the rain. I think it's one of my favourite types of weather for the forest, though of course it can be hard staying dry, but as you can see, the rainforest just shines in the rain. It's absolutely spectacular and I love watching the mist rising up out of valleys and slowly revealing the trees beneath it. So, I hope you're enjoying that view as much as I am. Um, this is a view from the other end of the top. Um, from this side, you can see other trees close by because it's where the ridge goes up behind us. So. One thing I really like about rainy days in tree sits is where you can watch the rain falling down to the ground from up above it. You can see the raindrops going down onto those celery top pines down there. We've got this gutter system here. The top goes down into the gutter and to catch the water so it doesn't drip down onto the platform. Seems to be working out okay. Um, seems like we've got some water that's been coming into the sit from somewhere. Go coming from behind these boxes here. Looks like it's a river there that could be dangerously heading down towards my swag. So. Here's my morning routine. I've gotten up out of the swag and I checked on everything, um, all the tarp to make sure it's not leaking. As you saw, there was a bit of a leak. Um, I think it's going to be a hard one to fix because I think I tracked it down to coming underneath the gutter. So, what I did was um, put in putting the guttering in, um, put in some no more gaps um, underneath so it wouldn't come underneath. but Obviously there's some spot where it's leaking in, um, so I'll see what I can do about that today. Um, so now I'm going to start the rest of my daily routine, and it starts here in this box. So all the boxes, everything on the in the sit has to be tied down, because in case there's some kind of situation, um, you don't want anything falling off life a little bit slow because every time you want something you have to tie and untie it so here we've got some stuff in plastic boxes that's to keep it nice and dry that's connected to um, something on the tree so that um, in an event that it slipped off the sit it would be hanging and then I've got this tied across the lid so that in that event that it did fall uh, the lid wouldn't come off and all the things would come out so this one-handed while I hold the camera. This is my general purpose box, so I suppose you could call it. Have a look what we got in here. So we've got my toiletries bag, got some books and go. They're all in um, little plastic bags, that's for extra weather protection. Um, got some report, different reports here. Um, here we go, a little bit of a plug for the book written by myself and Lily Lay, Flora and Fauna Guide to the Upper Florentine Valley. Um, it'll be available 
to buy off the website quite soon as well. So got a bunch of electrical equipment. There's all the plugs, um, battery charger, little first aid kit here, binoculars. Great for watching birds. Um, the essentials and toilet paper. Um, what else have we got? Okay, my bowl, Barbie. Unfortunately, I forgot to bring up my bowls um, on the first night, and I had to ask for some to be sent up. And probably not my favourite, um, but I think in fact someone sent that up as a joke. So I've got the whole set. I've got a little plate, a little bowl, and even a little Barbie cup. Here we go, here's the cup. Like that. And this is what I like to start my morning with. I've got my washer. I think that's wet that down and give myself a little bit of a light wash. Obviously we don't have any showers up here so we shower. Next I like to comb my hair. I've got this comb here. Um, 100% recycled plastic so you can feel um, like you're being a bit of an eco-warrior just by brushing your hair really. Once again, I'll do the lip. It's time for breakfast. Let's see what I've got here. I might have some crackers and a bit of Vegemite. An orange as well. For anyone that knows me, you probably know I just can't get enough of forest views, so I like to have my breakfast by the side of the seat, looking out over the forest, um, even on a rainy day. Reminisce about Saturday and the nice warm day when I had a nice warm cup of tea. <laughs> 